Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to introduce what I consider to be the world's smallest text editor that I've written in Python. So, uh, whether this is indeed the world's smallest text editor or not, um, this is not really me to judge that, but I have never encountered any smaller uh, size of the source code to uh, provide the functional text editor. So if you know a project where um, we have less uh, code, uh, less bytes within the source code that is used. Please kind of let me know in the commentaries because I'm really interested to know that if any projects like that do actually exist there. So uh, currently it lives uh, within the edit repository for the uh, terminal-based text editing 50 lines of Python code coded in one hour on YouTube, which uh, introduces a video once made. Uh, so this was taken as uh, as the basis, and I just added some obfuscations and uh, got rid of some unnecessary functions, features, since this is the very bare minimum kind of thing. And eventually I ended up with what you've just seen. So the original code was like this, so in case if you want to know how exactly this works, and you can just have a look at the source code and also watch the video. So now let's install it. Uh, I do chmod and make it executable. Uh, let's make it executable for all users. p.py. Yeah, and I want to say sudo cp e.py to use local bin and e. And now I can do e e.py and I have uh, the editor that opens its very own source code. Yeah, by the way, the cool thing is that the source code exactly fits the uh, 80 columns. So it's not going beyond that, so it fits the standard terminal. So I think this is quite cool. Um, so it's not really that much of being user-friendly, so we need to provide some readme to give user an idea of how to use it. Just <laughs> Make it one more time. Uh, so, okay, what was smallest text editor? Uh, so this is a bare minimum uh, terminal-based text editor. Okay, so um, how to use it or controls? Let's go with, let's make it how to use it. Arrow keys, control the cursor, backspace, um, delete character, and line. If column is one. So this is the standard behavior. Uh, so enter, um, insert a new line, or split existing one. Control S uh, saves changes. Control Q. Quits the editor. Quits editor. Um, so arrow key keys control the cursor, backspace deletes character, and uh, I was thinking of how to like to add the how to install part to the readme. Probably that makes sense. So say as list things. So we don't have test.txt. So I can do e test.txt. And if I just save it and quit and list, I have the empty test.txt. Now I can open this. Now it exists. I can add something here. And it's like there. Okay. So, and if I just open it as is, this is o.txt. E 
o.txt. So this is the file. Okay, remove o.txt. Yeah, so let's get back to the readme. Uh, how to use it. Yeah, let's probably do like this. Okay. Now I'm just showing the editing capabilities, the very basic, the most basic possible. But anyway, so go to install it. Um, so first need to git clone. Then cd into this, then chmod um, e.py, and cd cp e.py to user local bin e, like this. Uh, let me just check the typos of any HTTPS get up call. Okay, yeah. So I think this is kind of it, yeah. And yeah, so literally, essentially, give it a try. And let me know in the commentaries what do you guys think. And if you have ever seen a smaller editor than this one that we've just been using to create a readme.